Hello, my name is Martin Paul Eve, uh, and I am Professor of Literature, Technology and Publishing at Birkbeck University of London. I'm going to speak today a little bit around a couple of questions on my new book just published by Open Book Publishers, which is called Literature Against Criticism, University English and Contemporary Fiction in Conflict. The first question that I'd like to address was what made you want to explore the role that University English plays in contemporary literary fiction? I've had a long-standing interest in the structures of academic publishing, the way that economic cycles within that environment are determined by external social factors, such as the historical emergence of print journals, and the way in which uh, aspects like teaching feed into the economic cycle there. For instance, a classic example of this is that as mass higher education comes to the fore in the 1980s and 1990s, we see an expansion of the university staff base, who in turn produce more research, which in then costs more for university libraries to purchase. At the same time, I've had an interest in contemporary metafiction and changes in writing practices, particularly in American fiction since the 1960s, and the way in which fiction seems to start to reflect on itself. I suddenly thought that actually there's a congruence between these two practices, one where I, as a university academic, am studying the practices of the university, and the other where fiction, as a form of address, is studying itself and its own conditions of possibility. It then struck me that both of these are a type of critique. They're about thinking about the conditions of possibility uh, within the contemporary academy and within fiction. And I started to conceive of metafiction as critique, and wondered what was going on, though, when we've got points of intersection between these two spaces. What does it mean when a work of literature had a, a sly sideswipe at the academy? And I was definitively not interested in writing about campus novels. It's been done to death. It's, it's interesting in its own right, and they're more complex novels than many people give them credit for often. They're not just relegated to parody. But what I was interested in was where we had texts that had marginal figures who were in universities, or where, although it's not the main focus isn't a university campus, we have novels where the uh, ratio, say, of grad students is far higher than the national demographic of the country in which the novel is set, so the text of Jennifer Egan, for example. I was also interested in how these uh, novels might work to change their narrative paths for those who are versed in academic reading practices. A classic example of this is the novels of Sarah Waters, where those who studied Foucauldian imagery in her novels will be led down one path of interpretation. However, it actually turns out that those Foucauldian tropes of the prison, sexuality, uh, mediums and spirituality in Victorian England are actually not the important factor in her work. If you focus solely on those, you'll miss the fact that many of her antagonists get away with their um, oppositions through the fact they're hidden by class. So in Affinity, the character Ruth is the same character as that called Vigors. Her name is Ruth Vigors. Because she's a servant, she's called Vigors in one context and Ruth in another. The Foucauldian reader will only realise about this twist at the end, but the Marxist reader, the anti-Foucauldian reader perhaps, will spot that coming. How is the relationship between those who write literary fiction and those who critique it changing? Well, I think this links into uh, proposals by Mark McGurl about the programme era in American contemporary fiction, namely that many writers of American literary fiction in the 21st century have been through creative writing programmes in American universities. In the British context, I'd say it's more likely to be a generalised literature degree. But what we do see happening here is that more and more uh, writers of contemporary literary fiction have been through university English programmes, and this often leads them to feel a kind of need to outdo the academy in their works. Why weren't you an academic? Why are you writing fiction? Um, well, actually, fiction wants to consider itself superior to academics in many cases. And I posit a kind of competitive logic here for the right to speak critically about how fiction is produced in contemporary metafiction. If you think that the academy can't do it well, then it might be the case that you inscribe within your own works of fiction ways in which uh, you're critiquing, critiquing those very possibilities for contemporary fiction.